Hey everybody, this is Rizion, a React developer with five years of experience and today I want to share with you how I did duration picker at Increaser so you can find some interesting bits and take them to your own project. Let's jump in. At Increaser you can create a goal for yourself. For example, today I want to study crypto for one hour and to do that we have this duration picker. So basically it's hours and minutes and if you put something here, for example, 90 minutes, and it will convert it to one hour, 30 minutes. If you try to submit form without value, it will show you an error. The name of the component is minutes picker. It receives value in minutes, of course, on change handler, optional auto focus, and optional error. Here we wrap it with forward ref because we may want to access ref from outside, for example, here I use React hook form and I pass ref so that it will focus this input when error happens. If, for example, we pass 90 minutes as a value here, we will get hours equal to 1 and minutes equal to 30. Minute speaker is heavily based on the text input component that I talked about in one of the previous videos, so you can go and check them out. Uh, but basically here we first have input wrapper without your message. It will reuse input wrapper, but it will also provide a placeholder for an error. It means that when we um, enter the value, it doesn't jump. So we have some placeholder below the input. Container is CSS grid element where we repeat 80 pixels two times. So we can see that they have the same width. Below we have an input wrapper. It renders as a label. So if we go here, we can see that uh, we render it by default as a label, but we don't render input uh, wrapper with your message as label uh, because we want to have a separate focus on every label click. So for example, if we click on minutes, it should focus on this input. And when we click on ours, it will focus here. But if it all wrapped with one label, no matter where we click, it will always focus on ours. Then we use the same text input container between ours and minutes. And in order to handle change, we use this function that receives a converter and returns an event handler. So this two minutes function will receive a value and should convert it to a uh, total value, total value in means. For example, here we, we change hours and we multiply hours on uh, the number of minutes in hour and add uh, those minutes. So that's why we create total value. And here we have a different uh, converter. And afterward, we convert it to number and then check if it's none or not. And if everything is all right, we convert value to total minutes and pass it to the own change handler. That's it. I hope you found some interesting bits. Stay productive.